Do you need to use ProRes on the iPhone 13 Pro? Let's compare it to the high efficiency video codec. Let's look at the pros of ProRes and the cons. Is it that much better, easier to edit? How much storage does it take up? And is it worth it to use at all? I'm Rafael and welcome to the channel. ProRes is Apple's professional video codec. It is a joy to work with in post-production, especially if you're Mac-based and working in Final Cut Pro. It has become an industry standard for high quality video. But do you need to use it on your iPhone? Well, simple answer, no. And I'll show you why. ProRes retains way more information, but it's still a compressed format, just not as highly compressed as HEVC. Both codecs are visually lossless, meaning that the viewer looking at it won't be able to tell a significant difference. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of ProRes and HEVC. See if you can tell which is which. Side by sides are hard for me to distinguish which is which and they actually edit nicely together. I honestly thought that shooting low light would be the place where ProRes would really shine and be really noticeable. But from what I saw, both formats performed very well. If the image was exposed properly, both codecs were really clean and both retained sharpness and visual color fidelity. When looking at the scopes though, I can see that the ProRes file does retain more color information. But looking at the image, they are both visually lossless. Getting the ProRes footage off the phones was really slow. It's gigs and gigs of files that have to be transferred. And in this test, it was roughly 10 gigabytes. I found for my setup that AirDrop was actually faster and easier than plugging directly in. And I recommend turning off iCloud Photos because you don't want to be transferring that much data to the cloud. And you can't just drag it in from the Finder. You'll have to import it to either the Photos app on the Mac or directly into the Final Cut Pro library but I'm not a fan of that. And I did a whole video on how I prefer to set up my Final Cut Pro workflow. Working with both formats was really easy to edit in Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, even on a 2017 MacBook Pro. And it was even smoother on the M1 Mac Mini. And when working on a standard definition timeline, you do need to convert the color space of both formats. You can color correct, or a simpler way is to override the color space by going into the Clip Info Inspector, changing it to Settings, and setting it to Rec. 709 or 2020 and adjust the color with minor tweaks. So when would you need to record in ProRes? Well, for 99% of recordings, I would say that it's not necessary. But if you are doing paid work and you need the highest quality to push and pull the color grade, it's worth it, but it's storage hungry, like super hungry. I have a 256 gigabyte iPhone and after system resources and regular apps and photos and videos, I only had about 16 minutes of 4K ProRes at 24 frames a second. When setting it up, it does give you an option to free up some resources to give you a few more minutes. So shooting ProRes would be a great choice if I needed to do some insert shots, macros or wide for client work. But I feel that the HEVC would pass just as well in most cases, especially if you know the final product will end up on YouTube or Instagram. 
which will end up compressing it heavily anyway. And the end user won't even notice a difference just as I've shown in this video. Also, ProRes does not work in slow-mo or cinematic mode, so keep that in mind. I'll definitely continue to test over the next little bit, but I would say that in my initial testing, save the space and leave the ProRes for those special ultra important videos, like shooting low light or when the color grade will be to the extreme. To the extreme. Make sure you give this video a thumb bump and I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. Thanks for watching.